Well, NASA has announced plans to crash a spacecraft into an asteroid. It's the space agency's first planetary defence test mission and hopes to determine whether the impact of the spacecraft will change the asteroid's course. The mission, which launches later this month, will target a double asteroid which doesn't pose a threat to the Earth. The spacecraft is scheduled to reach the asteroid next year. This is a, 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 a test. Uh, nature has given us a, a setup where we have an, uh, an asteroid, a binary asteroid that's approaching close to Earth uh, so that we can observe from Earth-based uh, observatories. Uh, but this is a test. Uh, we don't want uh, to uh, be in a situation where an asteroid is uh, headed toward Earth and then have to be testing uh, this kind of capability. We want to know uh, uh, about um, both how the spacecraft works and, and what the reaction will be by the asteroid. Well, for more, I'm joined by Charlie Lineweaver from the Australian National University. Hi, Charlie. We'll give this another go. We were interrupted by the WA Premier last time. Hi, Kat. Hi. So, look, just before we look at this, what is the risk of a huge asteroid coming down to Earth and pulverising us? Well, in what time frame are you talking about? In the next second, very small. I know. In my generation? <laughs> well, it depends on how you go, long you're going to live. If you lived a million years, the possibility would be substantial. <laughs> but you're probably only going to live another maybe 100 years. And therefore, uh, the chance of a large one that could wipe out all mammals, for example, is tiny. Yeah. But the objects that are out there, well, I mean, the best thing we can do to protect ourselves from that probability is to find these objects before that we before they hit earth right? mm, mm. And so the, the earlier we find them the better it is for us and so that's why astronomers are into this business yeah and charlie but that's what nasa is doing right can you tell us what they're actually what they're doing what they're trying to achieve here Okay, so the, what's coming up in about two weeks is dart the double asteroid redirection test now now, there are many ways to get rid of an asteroid that's coming towards Earth, and uh, one of them would be to get a spacecraft and smash it and try to divert it. And that's what's going to be tested here. I should re reiterate the fact that these are not dangerous to the Earth. This is only a test. So there is a binary asteroid, and it is called Didymus. Here's Didymus, and it is orbited by its own little moonlet. It's called Didymoon, let's call it. And it's, about, it's much smaller. And it's going around like this every 12 hours. And somebody had the idea of, hey, let's smash an S, let's smash a spacecraft into the moon as it's going around. And then it will slow it down, hit it like a boom. Then it will slow down. So its orbit will then get shorter. And by measuring how small the orbit gets, we can figure out how much we've deflected it. And that will tell us information about potential deflections, maybe in five, 10, or maybe even 100 years when we're trying to protect ourselves in reality. Okay, so it's not about actually blowing this moon up. It's just about changing its course. That's right. This moon is about the size of the, this is about a kilometer, like a small mountain. And this one that's going to be hit is about the size of the Giza pyramids or the Sydney cricket ground. So it's only 160 meters in diameter. Mm. So this is like 10 times bigger almost. Anyway, the spacecraft is much smaller than even this Diddy moon. And it's gonna smash it right here and slow it down a tiny bit. And we're going to measure how much it deflects mm -hmm. that Diddy moon. And, and then, so how profound could the findings of this be for NASA and where could it lead? Okay, so the problem is, the, the uncertainty is, if we're going to send a mission, if we're really in an emergency, we need to know pretty much how to deflect this thing and how much we will deflect it given a certain size spacecraft. If we don't know that, then we can't move it out of the way for certainty. I mean, if there's an object like this coming in, it's gonna hit Sydney or it's gonna hit New York or something. Well, we would like to deviate it maybe 100 kilometers into the ocean somewhere, mm -hmm. and then we'd be much safer. But if you don't know how much you're gonna deviate it, then you can't do that. And so you, well, that's that's the bait. That's basically the test to figure out how to deviate an object of about this size, 160 metres in diameter. Mm. And can you remind us again, when and where is this happening? And is this something that will be live streamed from NASA so we can all see what this what this looks like? 
Okay, well, along with this spacecraft, there is a little Italian CubeSat, which will detach from the spacecraft and then sit at a safe distance, and it will take pictures of this thing uh, uh, as it it collides and impacts with the Didymoon. Um, There's also a follow-up mission that will happen later. Well, let me me back up. This thing will be launched in about November. Mm. It'll take about a year to get to uh, this binary uh, asteroid, and then it will smash into it. And then about a year or so later, there'll be a new satellite that will be launched to look very, very carefully at this and what happened, see what kind of asteroid it is. And um, also there'll be measurements from the Earth of telescopes looking very, very carefully Mm. to see the exact orbit. And that will also tell us information about how much was deflected. Okay, so we're going to have to be patient. That's what it sounds like there to get this information back to us. Um, Charlie, we're out of time. It's really great to talk to you. And thank you for bringing your props. That was very explanatory. (laughs) All right, you're welcome. (laughs) See you.